is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel with me mrs z1 today we are checking out evil genius 2 if you're interested in this game i will have a link down below as always okay i think it's looking good we're gonna go ahead and start a brand new game we're gonna do the we're not gonna do a quick start we're gonna go ahead and do a new game so we can choose our villain okay so we have our choices of a maximilian red ivan uh zalika or emma and i'm thinking we're gonna go with zalika i mean it's green scientific mastermind that sounds good to me oh oh they have different abilities oh hold on we're gonna have to take a look at this first okay i still think we're gonna go with zalika she uh comes with some pretty good abilities immediately repair all items and extinguish fires in her aura uses smarts and nanobots um and then also science minions are more capable than most uncovering the mysteries of the universe more quickly okay so we're gonna go ahead and start oh what area are we gonna choose oh my gosh we get to choose where we go okay i think we're gonna go with this one Montanus Gremulus, maybe? Okay, difficulty. Standard difficulty, a challenge, but nothing. A genius like you can't handle. Ideal for players familiar with the genre. Um, like candy, it's like taking candy from a baby. Ideal for players who want a light challenge or new to the genre. Ideal for players looking for some extra challenge. I'm thinking we're going to go with standard difficulty. I feel it just seems like the uh, this one just going to be way too easy. We're going to go with this one. Who knows? We might regret it later, but we're just going to try it. This is us. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love the, the laugh. Rotate controls to rotate the camera. Hold the mouse wheel and move the mouse left or right to rotate the camera. You can use the zoom controls to zoom in and out. Okay. Use the tilt controls to tilt your camera. Hold on. Who do you think you are? Giving me instructions like that. Uh, I, I'm here to help. By telling you exactly what to do next in a friendly and helpful manner. <laughs> but you're here to do everything I say. Correct. Step one. Tell us what you want, and the minions will do it. We're eager to please, uh, and also e eager to live. Please stop looking at me like that. New main objective available. You need a place to store your gold. Select the vault icon. Okay, so it looks like the first thing we're going to need to do is create a vault. Paint tiles over the highlighted area. This will be where we'll build your vault. Okay, hold on, hold on. I want to get a feel for everything. I want to see what we got going on. Okay, where do people come in at? On this helicopter? Or do they come in over here on this thing? And then like right up... Up here. I mean, this looks like it's the entrance to... Our casino so i'm thinking so i'm thinking people come in here and then come up this away okay oh i guess it's already highlighted where i need to have the vault at i guess this is where we're going there gold we go it will increase the amount of gold you can keep in your lair okay let's get some gold pallets in here it's okay. best not to leave your gold sitting in the open. 
Add a door to your vault. Okay, we need to add a door right there, and let's Once confirm. You are done, select confirm to give the order to your minions. Wait for your minions to install the door before moving on. Ordered furniture must first be collected from the depot under the helipad. Okay, so they're starting to dig out the area. We're making the vault, and then I guess they're going to start putting in the pallets. Now your gold is safe. Let's add another room to the lair. Okay, what's the other room we're going to add? Minions need barracks. to rest after a day of evil deeds. Let's build a barracks. Beds give minions places to sleep when their vitality or morale start to run low. Okay, so we're putting in some bunk beds. Items can be rotated freely with the rotate controls. Items that need to be placed next to a wall will automatically rotate. Place some beds on the other side of the barracks. There we go. Doors can be placed between walls. They always need a gap of four tiles. Okay, let's get a door in here. And let's Once confirm done, all. Select confirm to give the order to your minions. Open the systems menu. Okay, systems objectives menu. Objectives will help pave the way to world domination. Optional objectives will give you small frequent challenges. Collect this one <gasps> now for a reward. Ooh, I will take free money. Come back here often for main objectives, side stories, and optional objectives. Okay, so it looks like we have a main objective. Return to the lair when you're ready. Okay. Main objective available. Food is an okay, essential wait. part of any minion's diet. Without it, they'll become more unhealthy and less intelligent. Much less intelligent. Build a mess hall. Okay, now we are building a mess hall. Do I have to build it where they're telling me to build it? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. You can rotate any item in your lair. You can also move them after they've been constructed. Yeah, see, I can't like dig anymore. Okay. So we have to build where they're telling us to build, at least right now. So let's get some items, a basic food counter. Okay, I think we got that good. Let's New confirm it. Basic food counters restore minion smarts and vitality and stop stomachs from rumbling. Ooh, look at all that money. Okay, it looks like we have some stuff to claim. Construct lockers in the barracks for an optional thing. Okay, here's some lockers. Okay, how about that? Confirm. Put some lockers in the barracks. Hopefully that will help. We're still constructing the mess hall. Oh, you know what? I never put a door in here. We probably need a door. No? Apparently we don't need a door for the mess hall. Construct lockers in the barracks. We already did that. There's two of them in there. And two basic food counters. We got two of those as well. Okay, so I guess we just gotta wait. New main objective available. It seems we're low on power. Let's fix that before continuing. Uh-oh. Build space for a power station. You can place this where you like, but be careful, as it will be a tempting target for enemy agents. Okay, so it'll be a tempting target. So this is where they come in. Hmm. Okay, so our thing is kind of divided. We have a little bit of area over here and then we have more area over here. Okay, so we're gonna extend out our corridor. At least this far for now. 
And then we're going to put in our generators and stuff over this away. Okay, so we're going to need this. We're going to need a door. Okay, we've got a big, huge area for some generators. And let's go ahead and we're going to need a door. And we're going to need a bunch of generators. Okay, we have enough room to add even more. This is all the money we have for right now. So, uh, maybe we should hold off on a few of these generators. Maybe we don't need all of these. Let's confirm that. Okay, oh, we have a reward to collect. Okay, collected that main objective. Construct generator. Okay, we're doing that. Actually, we're going to be constructing a bunch of generators. Where are our minions? Oh, I was paused. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit. Oh, vault capacity, 81%. I got it. Okay, I was wondering what the heck this percentage was right here. Okay, we got another optional objective to get. Hire six more minions. How in the world do we do that? Defeated agents lie in body bags on the floor, causing minions to lose morale if they get too close. Build an incinerator in your power station to dispose of them. Okay, so we need an incinerator. Hmm. Okay. Power. Items. Incinerator. Okay, I'm kind of thinking maybe we will just like expand this out over to the side a little bit and just have the ex the incinerator over here. So let's go ahead and dig some more over here and grab the incinerator. Okay, there we go. Kind of like out of sight, out of mind, you know, like, you know, we don't have to see it. No, don't have to know about all that stuff. Let's go ahead and confirm that. Open the character selection panel, then select the evil genius portrait to highlight and follow your evil genius. Okay, let's select Zalika. Anything specific? With the evil genius selected, interact anywhere in the highlighted area to move your genius. Let's proceed. Okay, let's get her over here. New main objective available. You, you need, need a control, control room, room to send minions into the world. Let's lay down a plan for one. Okay. It looks like we only need a small area for that. I'm not exactly sure. We'll see how that goes. Let's go ahead and confirm. Oh, did I put a door in there? I did put a door. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No, darn it. I didn't make it big enough. And I can't make it bigger. How do we stop this? Stop. Sell. Sell. Revert. No. No, I didn't mean to do that. Sell. Sell. And we're going to have to fill this back up with... Dirt. Room type, dirt. Okay, there we go. Confirm all. I guess we're going to have to make it somewhere else because we need a larger area. Okay, let's come back over to this side. Okay, let's extend out this corridor just a little bit more. And I guess we'll put it over here. Uh, we might need to expand out our vault at some point. So maybe we... Let's expand out this some more. Okay, and then maybe do the control room... Here? Radio repeaters provide broadcast strength, allowing us to maintain criminal networks across the globe the more broadcast strength you generate with your radio repeaters 
the more of the world you can infiltrate. For now, let's just infiltrate a little bit. Okay, so we made it large enough. We have the radio repeater in there. We're going to need a door. And let's go ahead and confirm all for that. And look at our little guys working it for us. I think we have some stuff to collect. Oh, construct a generator. Hire six more minions. I don't know how to do that. Is there not enough beds? Okay, maybe we should get some more beds in here. Because that person was saying, talking about sleeping. Head to the world stage. Okay, I need to head to the world stage, but I'm moving things around right here. <laughs> Trying to give people as much room and stuff as they can have. Okay, I think that's all I can do in there. Let's confirm. I put a bunch more beds in there and I put a bunch more. Build more rockers if you want more minions. Oh. We need to build more lockers if we want more minions. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that real fast. Let's expand this area out. And, oh, they're getting rid of those. Okay, can't have those anymore. Okay, let's put some more beds in here, maybe. Okay, I think I fixed the whole... Not enough rockers to support your current minion count. Not enough lockers to support our current minion count. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I shouldn't have took this under. We should have waited. <laughs> Everything was good until I started messing with stuff. Build more rockers if you want more minions. Okay, I think we have plenty of lockers now. This whole entire area in here is like tons of lockers. So we should be good now. But we need to go to the world stage. We need to do some other things. Each of the highlighted regions is an excellent place to start your journey towards world domination. Select a suggested region, or any other region if you know what you are doing, and scout it to establish a criminal network. Okay, what is the selected region? Which one is selected? They look like they're all selected. Okay, I guess we'll go here. 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and scout it out. Once built, you can use our criminal network to run schemes in this region. Minions waiting for transport. Oh, there they go. Oh, this is going to be quick. I'm all packed, boss. Send me into the world and I'll come back with plenty of gold. Oh, that sounds good. Come back. You think you're coming back? <laughs> no, I'm not having you coming back here, tracking justice all over the place like mud. They'll follow you right to my door, and then where would we be? Take a little gold for yourself, then send the rest back here. Use your share to live a quiet life, or else... Oh, Minions so they're not coming back? The world and run any scheme you select. You will receive small amounts of gold as they progress. Okay, launch scheme. Two workers, 30 seconds, 5,000 gold. Yes, sounds good. New main objective available. A prison will make for the perfect place to hold your enemies before questioning them. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to build a prison now. I know, this whole area just looks a mess, guys. I'm sorry, avert your eyes, avert your eyes. It's already so messy. The scheme has succeeded. Okay, so our scheme has succeeded. Now we need to make a prison. And this looks like it's going to be pretty large. 56 tiles. So let's go ahead and make an opening. These holding cells hold one prisoner each. If you don't have any free cells, your minions can't capture people. Okay, so we need to get some cells in here, holding cells. Once this interrogation chair is built, we can use it to make prisoners tell us their secrets. Okay, so we have three cells so far. We need to make some interrogation chairs. 
Not enough gold to complete this construction. Oh, Experiment no. with interrogating agents. We don't have enough gold. What secrets you will uncover. I guess we're only getting one interrogation chair so far. And maybe two cells. That'll probably work for now. Let's confirm that. Okay, let's see. It looks like we have some objectives maybe to claim. Oh, we get to collect this reward. Construct a generator. Establish additional criminal networks. Construct an additional radio repeater. Earn 20,000 gold from schemes. Okay, we can probably construct... Your criminal networks are idle. Consider running some schemes. <gasps> oh, okay. Let's get back to the world stage. Let's go get some more schemes running. Let's see. What is this? New main objective available. Select a scientist scheme. Special schemes are often highlighted on the world stage with colored signs. Okay. Keep your eyes open for these important schemes. Let's go ahead and launch the scheme. Once complete, the scheme will yield to a fresh faced scientist. New optional objective available. Okay, what's the next optional objective? Complete one scheme. Ah, okay. I'm ready to uncover the mysteries of the universe for you, boss. What do you want me to research? Interesting word. Research. Implies you're searching for something a second time. You better not be charging me for the same work twice. <laughs> Your new scientist appears to believe that we can use a training room to teach our slack-jawed minions how to do specialist jobs. Get one built, and you can find out for sure. Okay, so it looks like we need to make a training room. I'm hoping that we're going to start being able to go through these, like, bigger piles of dirt. Because, I mean, this is going to kind of suck not being able to work over here. And, like, we're not going to be able to come in here unless we... I mean, I guess we can make, like, a corridor down there. Okay, I guess we need to make a training room. Let's make some more corridors first. Okay, so I went ahead and extended out the corridor this way. I think we're going to turn this whole area over here into the training area. Each specialist minion type requires a trainer of its own. Request a scientist trainer. Because I know we're going to have quite Your a bit. Networks are idle. Consider running some schemes. Quite a bit of things to train. Okay, so we need to get a scientist thing in here. Okay, we're going to go Once ahead and put built, that in there. You will be able to instruct your minions to train a scientist. So let's go ahead and confirm Having all of that. Will and speed up future research. it looks like we need to start getting another scheme going. So let's go back to the world network. And heat negative 50. We'll get 10,000 gold for only 10 seconds. Let's go ahead and launch that scheme. A scheme has succeeded. Oh my goodness, that was good. Okay, next one. Negative 50 heat, three workers, 20 minutes. That's all. Oh, it just gives us. Oh my gosh. Did we pay for that other one? Oh, I think we paid to do that to remove heat off of us. Oh, I need to pay attention. I need to pay attention to what is going. Yep. Requirements 10,000 gold. Oh, no. Okay. I guess we're going to go ahead and do this. This will take three minutes and we'll get 10,000 gold. I guess we'll get our money back. Let's confirm that. What is this? You'll need to build more lockers before you can hire more minions. Hmm. Scientist. Once built, you'll be able to instruct your minions. Okay, I guess we're still building that. Let's take a look at our objectives. We completed a scheme, so we got 2,500 gold. And... New main Hire six available. more minions. Interrogate With an agent. With the correct agent. training furniture built in your training room, 
You can request that your minions train to become specialists. Head to the minion training screen to request training of some new scientists. Okay, there we go. We are at the training machine. Let's go ahead and select that. You should request two scientists to be trained. Okay. Thankfully, we already have a scientist, so training another should be a breeze. If for some reason one of your scientists disappears, another minion will instantly train until they have this many in your lair again. You okay. Your workers will start to train automatically. They'll learn faster if another minion is able to teach them. A scheme has succeeded. Okay, apparently we need to get some more lockers in here. New main objective available. Your minions will need somewhere to perform their research. Plan a laboratory. Um, okay, we need a lab. And this is going to be 50 tiles. I guess we're going to go ahead and build this over here. Here's our doorway. A whiteboard is essential for scientists to perform research. As we unlock more potent research, we'll need to provide them with more advanced equipment. Optional objective complete. Okay, so we need a whiteboard. There we go. And that looks good. Let's go ahead and confirm that. Oh, darn it. We need to get a door in there, probably. Okay, let's go back to the world stage. Let's see if we can do any more schemes. Um, heat gain to region. 40. Oh my goodness, but look how much money we get. Oh my gosh, this is going to take 35 minutes. Your criminal networks are idle. Okay, what about this stuff? 10,000, 15 heat, 3 minutes. New main objective Upgrade to level available. 2 to unlock by Open completing the research. research. And take a look at all the diabolical opportunities. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and launch this scheme right here. And let's open up the research. Put your scientists to work investigating new technologies, minions. Choose any research project and set your scientists researching it. We suggest increasing your minion capacity, but ultimately the choice is yours, oh wise one. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the one that they're suggesting research and begin that. Begun. Research takes time and our scientists will let us know when it's complete. Head back to the lair to continue your world domination. You are blessed with powerful abilities which can be used to further influence those around you. Select your genius. Okay, let's grab our genius. Mm -hmm. This ability increases the importance and speeds of jobs within your area of influence. Move to a busy area of your lair, such as your control room, and trigger the ability. Notice how your minions come running to help. This can be very useful when you want to give the productivity in your lair a bit of a boost. If your genius isn't in a busy room, try moving to somewhere there are jobs to be done and try again. Nothing is certain but my success. This is crucial to my success. Okay, so we're inspiring our minions. New main objective available. Side stories are objectives that will unlock powerful additions to your empire. Okay, guys, I think this is going to end it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for coming out and watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing as well. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are enjoying this. If you want to see more, it's actually a pretty fun time. I'm enjoying it so far. But thank you guys so much for coming out and watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Bye, everybody!